Today I'm going to show you two different ways of creating tasks. One is using only C Sharp and one using an XML template. My name is Benjamin and let's get started. The first thing we'll do is open up a new project and head over to the NuGet package manager. Here we'll search for task scheduler and install the most recent task scheduler package by David Hall. Then we'll start off by defining a task name and then initializing a task definition by calling new task on the task service instance. This will be how we can create and edit tasks. To change details about the task, such as the author, we'll edit the details under registration info. Then I'll add a description and an action. The action in my case will be opening notepad++. So I'll create a new executable action and pass in the path of the application. The last step is to register the task definition we're going to do this in the root folder, but I'll show you how you can do it in other folders too. If you run this code and look in your task scheduler, you should see that there's now a task here called the open notepad++. If we call run on the task after it's instantiated, it will run the task immediately. Now, if we want to create a folder for our tasks, we'll call create folder on the task service root folder, and then use that folder to register the task definition. In case a folder already exists, we can call get folder and get it there from. And as you can see, we now have a folder called Blue Hippo with a task in it. In case you want to manipulate an existing task or want to check if it's there, you have to call get task on the task service instance. If the task you want to get is in a folder, you'll have to loop through the tasks in that folder and retrieve the task yourself from there. The way you delete a task is by calling delete task and passing in the task name you want to call this on the folder you want to delete it from. Now to my recommended way of creating a task. Here you'll create the task like an ordinary task in the task scheduler, right click on it and export it as an XML file. Then you'll add it to your project. I've added it as a resource and then we'll create a task like in the previous section with the difference being that the XML part of the task will be derived from our exported XML task. Now, if we run this piece of code, we'll see that it opens Notepad++ as the previous times, but also in our task scheduler, we have open Notepad++, XML. It has all the triggers and the actions that I've defined to it. This means that we can use this XML as a basis for creating tasks and editing on the fly. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, be sure to subscribe and leave a comment if you have any future suggestions for videos you want me to do.